In today's video, we are going to try a few egg substitutes to make pancakes. Now on this channel, I have a lot of pancake recipes and they all use a traditional egg. There are always comments asking, what can I substitute for a regular egg? And today I am going to show you my top picks and we're going to test out two of the methods. The rest, I will have a link right below this video so you're not watching for a long time and you can read all about the egg substitutes after the video. So let's get started. My top suggestion as an egg substitute is flax meal or ground flax seeds. They gel up the best, so that is always my recommendation is to make what's called a flax egg. And I'm gonna show you how that's done in just a second. The second one that people often use is also a chia egg, and that's where you take chia seeds and create chia gel. And we use this to bind up the ingredients to make pancakes. Now the third substitute is a commercial egg substitute. You can find many of them. I'll link a few below this video. And they're usually prepackaged, done and ready for you, um, where you would then follow the package instructions because all brands are slightly different um, to make also an egg substitute. Other things that can, you can use to bind your pancake ingredients are gonna be canned pumpkin. So the measurements for that is also right below. And a very ripe banana, you can also mash that up and use it to bind your pancake ingredients. So let's start making some egg substitutes. So the first one we're gonna do is our flax meal or flax egg. We have one tablespoon of ground flax meal and we are gonna take three tablespoons of warm water and you're gonna wanna mix this in a small bowl or dish and then take a knife or something and stir it. Now this is going to need to sit in your counter for about five to 10 minutes to absorb the water and gel up. So up next, our chia egg. Chia egg, same thing. We take one tablespoon of chia seeds and three tablespoons of water. Now chia absorbs a lot of liquid and again, we wanna make sure that they all kind of swim around a little bit. I like to kind of go back and go around. Now this is our commercial egg replacer. This particular brand says two tablespoons of water to one of these egg mix. And this one happens to be made with chia seeds and garbanzo beans or garbanzo bean powder. So I highly suggest that you take a look at the back of the ingredients and see what yours might be made up with. So one to two on this one, okay? And same thing, we're gonna take our knife and just give it a good mix. Now their purpose is to bind the dry ingredients and their wet ingredients to give you the fluffy pancake texture that you love in your pancakes. So after 10 minutes, I'm going to show you what our flax egg looks like. So after 10 minutes, our flax has turned into kind of like this gel-like texture. Now, this is golden flax. You have light flax or dark flax. It's the same seed, um, but the, you do want to grind them up. So that this is what it looks like. And flax meal makes a beautiful, sticky egg-like substance. The second egg was the chia seeds. And after 10 minutes, the chia seeds have absorbed all of the warm water. And as you can see, they're kind of like a really thick paste. The only downside of using chia seeds in your pancakes is that they're easy to spot. You'll have black speckles or like little mm, sprinkles throughout. So um, that's something to keep in mind. And then our commercial egg replacer, this one absorbed, didn't even need 10 minutes. This is like practically instant. So um, these gelled up really quickly, but it's really thick paste. So. I personally only like to use these commercial egg replacers in baking recipes um, and up to three eggs per recipe. And I'm gonna detail, write all those details for you right below the video, so don't worry about it. But um, I wanted you to see what they look like and now we're gonna make pancake batter so you can see what the batter looks like before we make pancakes. So we have two bowls with my pancake recipe and I'm just going to make 
My famous pancake recipe is also on this channel and also linked below, as well as some of my favorite pancake recipes and a no milk pancake recipe because you've also asked for that. So that's also linked below. Gluten free, you name it, it's there. So right here I have traditional all purpose flour to which I'm going to add baking powder. Now baking powder is essential for our pancake recipes because it gives pancakes that fluff and lift that we all love. So I'm gonna make sure I put the same ingredients in both bowls. And to activate, we use a little bit of salt in our dry ingredients. To the salt, I'm going to add a little bit of granulated sugar. This is a uh, optional, but I love a little bit of sugar helps out our pancake batter, just tastes so much better and not just like plain flour. Let's give the dry ingredients a quick whisk, mostly so your baking powder is distributed everywhere in the dry ingredients before we add our wet ingredients. Typically, it's right now is where I would put my egg right in the middle, but I'm going to add our milk first. So I'm using dairy milk, but you could use any kind of milk that you want or a no milk pancake recipe also right below. So we decided that we were gonna make one batch with the flax egg or the flax meal. So we're gonna add this one to this bowl. Okay, you wanna make sure you get all of it because the ratio is exactly to replace one egg in this pancake. The second replacer that we're gonna do is we're gonna use the traditional egg replacer because a lot of people wanna just a done for them solution right out of the bag. So we're going to use this replacer. And because it's also made with chia seeds, I feel like we don't really need to test the chia, although it performs really well, very similar to the flax egg. I also like to add a little bit of melted butter to my pancakes because they taste so much better. And the other bowl, trying to make sure I don't forget any ingredients, guys. I'm like making two batches at once. So let's whisk these up. So with all my pancake batter recipes, I always advise for you to start whisking in the very middle to incorporate the wet ingredients first, and then you take big whisks and incorporate everything into the batter. Now the batter is definitely a little bit thicker than with an egg, so I have an entire video on what pancake batter should look like. I'm gonna make sure I link that below, but you want it a bit thinner than this. So you can always add a little bit more milk or a little bit more water, which is what I'm gonna do. Now this consistency will definitely work for our pancakes. So now this is the commercial egg replacer and let's start whisking in the middle. Now one observation is that you really do want to whisk the, the egg replacer with the liquid really well because it was kind of pasty and then incorporate the rest of the dry ingredients. I usually test my recipes that are all my baked goods that are under two eggs or two to three eggs with my flax meal, so I'm really familiar with this one. I don't usually use an egg replacer, so we're doing this for the first time together. Now, right away, I'm gonna give you a close up. I can see that the commercial egg replacer is leaving kind of like, it's hard to incorporate. Like I can see it in clumps in my batter, so I'm not too sure how this is gonna work out. So what you may wanna do is take a fork or a spoon and then just sort of mash it up against the side of your bowl so that it kind of incorporates with the batter. And you know, because there are little brown spots, so oh, that egg replacer. So I'm gonna add a little bit more liquid. This batter just seems really, really sticky to me as somebody that makes pancakes all the time. And it's not something that you kind of like wanna put on my pan because really thick pancake batter creates gummy pancakes. A really liquid pancake batter yields thin and flat pancakes. But there's always a happy medium. Let's try it with that. Let's grease our pan. Whether you spray it, use butter, or your vegan oil replacement, you wanna make sure that your pan is well oiled. So this first pancake is going to be with our flax meal or flax egg right here. And the second one, we are going to put it one right next to it with this commercial egg replacer on this side. You always wanna make sure that 
if you're using a pan that your fire is right under this, all the surface of your pancakes so the centers don't cook more than the outer edges. All right, so guys, just like in my when to flip a pancake video, once your edges are have a texture and a defined texture to them and you can flip them easily, I'm pretty happy with that one. Look, it just fluffed up right away. So our flax is working. Our substitute also. Now what I really like are fluffy pancakes. So I looked for cooked middles, that fluffy texture, and actually great flavor, of course. All right, so here's our flax, and here is our substitute. Let's make a few more. If you're wondering whether or not you can make pancake batter ahead of time, and the short answer is yes, use however much pancake batter you're gonna consume, and then the rest, cover it, refrigerate it, and then the next day, you just use a whisk, mix it all up, and make another batch. Now, if you're wondering if you can use a liquid egg substitute, you know, like the kind that's shaked to make this, yes. You are going to measure out in the directions one egg and use it in your pancake recipe. Now you should know that liquid eggs usually have a lot of ingredients, which I'm looking at. So I highly recommend that you just keep things really simple and use pantry staples for this. Let's see how these stack up. Here's my flax and the substitute. What you guys really wanna know though is what do they look like inside? So this is our flax meal or flax egg. And as you can see, it's pretty fluffy inside. And tastes really good. Got a few flax specks. But overall, defined edges, not gummy. This substitute is definitely a winner. And these are our commercial egg replacers, the ones right out of the bag. And this pancake is also very fluffy. It is a bit wet feeling, but I would say that you need to cook it a little longer. Let's try a different one. Yeah, so if you're using a commercial egg replacer that is really thick and it doesn't distribute all around your batter really well, make sure you cook them a little bit longer so they're not gummy and chewy. And guys, right below this video, I will have every link imaginable to what I use, links to get them, homemade syrup, all that stuff. And while you're down there, hit that red subscribe button. A new video comes out every single week. So see you next time.